dump trailer's just off, moving some stuff around the field, some clay, so I'm just backing out this gap. So I've got the box tipped up so I can see underneath the trailer that no one's gonna walk behind me, but it is quarter past seven in the morning and no one should be in, but either way, it's best to just lift the box just in case, because I'm back in blind, just to make sure. Look a good combination that. In the Bateman, just putting a pre-emergence spray on this field. I like this field. You go once round and it's finished. It's only like 72 metres wide and long. Well, it's quite long, but it's only 72 metres wide. So I've just done this one. I'm gonna go on now to the rest of the bean fields and do them. Got a hole in that bag, it might be small, but it's mighty. We're gonna reach just. We didn't get a chance yesterday to do that little bit of patching up of the bean fields that we were sort of reclaiming the bit of ground. Some of us said, Why has it been left? Well, we only took the tenancy on this year on that bit of ground, so I don't know why it had been left. But we're gonna try and get back to the corners because the guy that owns it wants us to, to farm it all. So Rob's just gonna go now and patch it up then I'll spray the pre-emergence spray on it after. So can you see the Bateman mud guards are now looking a bit yellow. So that used to say Bateman in bright white, and it's now faded yellow because the spray I'm putting on is it yellow, it has a yellow tinge to it. Just like these booms now have a yellow tinge. And that was one of the reasons for having the black rims, so you don't get the yellow wheels on the back. Just waiting to cross the tracks. This is the Drax trade that brings pellets from Liverpool and takes them to the north east to make this renewable energy. All the pellets from California at the moment. So it looks like it's returning empty. It's nice to see the level crossing was here when I got here and I'd been taken up in the night again anyway. That's Manchester. That's Liverpool. Just spraying pre-emergent spray now. It's bright yellow. It looks like toxic waste. It's obviously not. It's just not a good look, especially when they're all playing football there. But, but when I was talking to, to David the other day, he was like, yeah, it looks like toxic waste. It's like, good point. But yeah, it's uh, definitely safe on the soil. Just sort of little grass weeds coming through with just the beans you've come through, hopefully. Got a two Merlot job and a fast track job now, just go moving a container. There's a broken bale on this grass field and it got forgotten about, so I'm just dozing it to the edge now, out of the way, while I'm up here. And then it won't be in the way of mowing and rolling and things. And then we're going to lift that blue container off there and take it to the other yard. Just going to drive forwards now, get that one a bit closer. This one's got this end. I'm going to lift it up. Back up, lower it down, pack the trailer underneath, and off we go. There we go. Two Merlots on it. I'm trying to drop it here out of the way. Protect that wall then. This is where Frank was tidying up the other day with the digger. Still some playing in the spur, luckily. So we can take them back to the yard. It looks a lot better now. And then for some reason, this caravan has just appeared. Now, I don't know if it's been dumped, but Tony has left it here. Who, um, because there's mini diggers here as well. But I do know him because I have a phobia of caravans. And then Stephen's just caught the fence with the low loader. Which is a bit of a shame. And that lens. But that is because you couldn't swing round there because this caravan's just appeared. This silicon, I think. We can put that back on. We'll try and find what make it is. An order one. Good as new now. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's good. Pigeons again everywhere. What they seem to be doing is see how the magpies are stood on the on the uh, sunflowers. Well, the pigeons are doing the same. They're landing on the sunflower stalks and then 
jumping down, having a feast, then jumping back up again. This is the volunteer rape in the sunflowers that we're leaving. It doesn't look too bad, it's just starting to come into flower there actually. But yeah, loads of pigeons again. Just on the last tank full now, and it's just started spitting. There's a little bit of a belt coming across there, but I'm not bothered because it's better onto moist soil. You put this spray on with as much water as you can, so it get, gives you this layer all over the top surface. So it'll help if we do get a little bit of rain. As long as we don't get too much, it makes a mess where the wheels are going. And I'm like, even smear marks that'll just shine like a mirror full of water. This here now, this is where it was a big flood last winter and we put a drain to the pond behind me. Now, because I'm spraying this and it's yellow and you can see what it is, when I go around the pond in a second, I'll film the boom turning on and off because you'll see it better. And that's the pond that we drained that flood to. You can see better from here actually. So that's where the drain went through this hollow. That way to the pond, you can see a bit of an orange bit there. And the clay's a bit mixed in. And now we're gonna go along and the boom's gonna turn off. Da -da 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 -da. So let's see. There we go. Going a bit quick actually to see it properly. Now it's turning off that side, just to the end section. Just that little bit we're just getting now. And then that should start to come back on again. So we go like that, then another section in a second, and another one, and then that one. We're going to be turning the one on behind the sprayer, and then there, 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 there we go dead easy and then it's going to do the same again when I get to this pond you'll see the end section come off about now there we go and then that one that one that one that one keep that end one on I'm going to hit the trees so I'll have to stop uh, just thought I might have missed that so there you go coming back on again now in sections as it goes along Turn it on the one behind, then the next one, and then that one, that one, that one. There we go. I could have edited out hitting the tree or the bush, but that's life, that's what happens. If you don't sort of concentrate and you're using your phone filming while you're driving in the big field and there's a bush in the way. That was where the brambles were yesterday, so they've all been flailed off. But it was just too wet to disc and drill with beans, so we'll just have to see if it dries up or maybe it needs some drains in it. George Billington has got a birthday bumper to himself today. So happy birthday, George, and happy birthday to anyone else whose birthday is. Just spraying this field now. I'm only spreading, spraying sort of 12 meters that side because we've got to miss a 24 meter strip because there's beans the other side and these are seed beans. So they can't cross pollinate with the ones that are growing the other side of the railway. So I've just turned that side of the boom off and then we'll put some like spring wheat along here or something like that. Something's going down. Pretty light night, so I think it's about 20 past seven now. Bit of cracking day today, really cold though, but amazing day. Been feeling 85% today because of that weather. How have you been feeling? Don't forget, leave a comment below of how you've been feeling as a percentage. So if I'm 85%, what are you today? People have not been doing it for a while. People are getting lazy, but it's there every day on the di on the, the description. So, you know, leave it. And then if anyone's feeling a bit low, someone can also, um, comment or if I've got time see how everyone's feeling so don't forget how are you today I've jumped off to fill a wash tank amazing sunset this is all the pre-emergence now on the beans so I've got to wash all the residue out because that yellow stuff can stick in the nozzles and make a mess I think I said that this morning anyway the last tank full of pudding had 5,400 litres in so this sprayer holds 5,600 litres as it says on the side there so it meant that I've done it like the last bit in one tank full and the one this morning was in one tank full so instead of doing four tanks a day because I was moving the container and different things as well I've done it in two so it's saved me so much time and it's all thanks to you lot watching so thank you everyone because you are paying for that sprayer YouTube's doing a bit better this month than it's been doing over winter so it's still making the payments on the sprayer which is excellent so thanks for watching also as well the April Fool yesterday Lots of people I don't think understood it in April Fool and even today there's still people commenting on Facebook and Twitter about it as well. So don't forget if you've got Twitter, AgriContract on Twitter. Same as on Instagram. That is all for today. I'm going to wash out and then go get something to eat. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll have a proper look at that Gator, can't not Gator, Chorus Gator thing, ATV, ATU. So see you tomorrow.